Hey guys, this is Mani Kartikil. I'm a blogger from India and this video tutorial series I'll help you understand and use one of my favorite SEO tools, SEM Rush. This is a software that many bloggers and companies use to make sure they are doing well with search engine optimization. But it's not so easy to get started with a software like SEM Rush for the first time. Since I've been using this tool for a couple of years now, and since many of you have been asking me how to do SEO with it, I thought I'll share some of my workflows with you. So in these short videos, I'll show you how to do each and everything with SEM Rush so you can use it for your projects as well. So let's get started with today's episode. So in this episode, we look at three main ways by which you can actually do keyword research on SEMrush. Let's look at the first one first, which is the plain old way of looking at a keyword, looking at the search volume, the competition against that keyword and deciding whether or not to go ahead with that keyword. So what you do is you come into keyword research and keyword overview, which you can see over here onto your left. And in the keyword overview box, you type in the keyword that you're interested in. So I typed in Walmart credit card. Let's see what it shows. So there you go, SEM Rush will show you this beautiful snapshot of all the essential information you need to know about a particular keyword, including what is the search volume for that keyword, how many number of results are there, what is the average cost per click on paid search against that keyword, what are the different phrase match keywords available, what are the related keywords, what are the organic results for up to page 10, and also a trend analysis of the particular keyword. Essentially, you get all the information you need so you can choose whether or not to go ahead with that keyword in your SEO strategy. So let's look at the second method for keyword research next. So the second method is actually using the keyword magic tool. You can find it in the keyword research subsection onto your left. So when you click on keyword magic tool, this is what you see. So I'm gonna take the same example as before, Walmart credit card, and I'm gonna choose US. And what SEM Rush will do is show me all the keywords with, with the search volume, the trend analysis, the keyword difficulty, the cost per click, competition, search results, and all of that stuff. So basically you can go through all of these keywords and choose which one you need to. And you can sort it by search volume or keyword difficulty or CPC, whichever you wanna do it. Just click on this particular tab and it would sort it. So this is the second way of doing keyword research. You can basically punch in any number of keywords into the keyword magic tool and get a list of all these different keywords. And then what you do is you select the keywords that you want. You can either select all of them or individually select the ones you need. And you can export it over here and it'll go into a CSV or XLS or CSV with semicolon, whichever way you want it. And you can use it if needed in another platform, or you can add it to your set of keywords that you're tracking. So that's the second way of doing keyword research. Now let's look at the third way of doing keyword research in SEM Rush. Okay, so the third way of doing keyword research with SEM Rush is again with the keyword magic tool. And we'll continue from the second example where we have a primary keyword, Walmart credit card. And what we're trying to do here is to find subsets or clusters of keywords that are related to the primary keyword with the keyword magic tool. So you can craft content that is optimized for those clusters. So for example, over here, you can see that primary keyword here is Walmart credit card, but at the same time, you have a lot of related keywords which can fall into subfolders or subclusters. So for example, if I click online over here, it shows all the keywords with online or is related to online and the primary keyword Walmart credit card. So if you, you can see how to pay Walmart credit card online, and that's a different keyword. And another one is apply for Walmart credit card online or in store. So basically what it tells you is you can form certain themes or clusters by which you can craft content around the primary keyword. So that way it's more effective, more strategical and more relevant to your main brand. So this is the third way and probably the most efficient way of doing keyword research, especially if you have a content repository, like a blog or something where you can have different themes and different keyword clusters under which you can create content that is relevant for those keyword clusters. So I hope that video made sense and you found it useful. If you do, please like, share and subscribe and see you in another video.